So the McLaren is my pick for next season and I drove it absolutely a lot of laps on Spa to get it fast. I was only doing like 219, 220. I wasn't really competitive. I was almost ready to give up basically. But then I watched a video from another guy doing absolute massive lap times with it. So I changed the setting around and took off all the downforce and uh, that got me into uh, the sweet spot with this car. So we have the uh, uh, these values. TC2 we put on zero. I see in some very smart people putting this at zero. The fastest people putting it at zero. So I did it as well. Uh, brake bias again oversteer into corners put the value up and if you can't get away with this setup in the corners you can add a few clicks of rear wing to make it more manageable but I challenge you to do drive it like this because that straight line speed absolutely great on spa with this mclaren good luck so in the first corner you really want to hit it on that inside and then it's just flat out flat out flat out important is with Oruz you take it all the way over that curb you rotate it into that corner and you actually shift up uh, during the S's to get the most out of that straight line speed make sure you're hitting this curb all the way coasting a bit then again you want to go on the throttle as soon as possible and let it run out. Trail braking here. As soon as throttle on again. This is the, the I think this is the most tricky part of the whole spa. This this next few corners to the left, you will need to be easy with the steering and the braking. Here I also you can see I'm also all almost losing it a bit. Again, a little bit of trail braking. It really drives the McLaren on this part. It's really good. What I found with this setup is that the bus stop chicane is actually really good. If you see how much grip you have here, and if you see how much time we're gaining in this last bit, it's absolutely amazing. That was it. Good luck. See you in the next one.